Messi Gono and Gerald are back on our screens. Fantastic favor apologizes to our fans that she had acquired in the past years. Now, before we get right into Fantastic Favor's apology and what she had to say to our fans, um, let's talk about Messi Gono and Gerald. If you have been an OG on the street, you you know, especially on this channel, you know we talked about Messi Gono and Gerald. There was a the time you know it was back to back. You know, at the point it was all lovey dovey. Okay, it was so much love and so much trust between these two guys. Okay, this lady and this guy Messi Gono, she's a nurse, and then Gerald, who is her boyfriend. It was all lovey dovey okay sweet and all that to the point that she even had to like you know buy his own house according to i was selling a house and she had the money she's a big youtuber with over 1 million subscribers guys now when this their love was going on nobody ever thought it was going to go sad at first like we never thought we never knew even when their love was going on it was sweet and everything then later you know one or two drama started it was as if it was like physical and also emotional abuse and all that it turned out to be that like gerald turned out to be a narcissist okay and before you know they started having issues and everybody thought as they've, you know, parted ways, like everybody thought, you know, after the drama, I noticed what Jera was doing was, he knew that, you know, Messi gonna add money without her, he would like be nobody because we actually knew Jera through Messi Gono, right? Because Messi Gono was the celebrity we were talking about. So he felt that this was the best time for him to drag her and grow his page. And as I tell you, up to now, the page is still on, I think, 10,000 subscribers. I don't know why it's not growing. They both kind of like left YouTube after some time. Then later, our uh, channel was even at and she blamed it on Gerald. You know, since his own could not move and he started, you know, coming for her account, which I don't believe that. I feel what, whoever did that might be his fan and all that. But thank God she got that, you know, account back. Even though when she said her account was act, she started growing another channel and people felt she was just lying. That was Gerald fan saying she was lying. So using the opportunity to actually grow her own channel. Okay. And then when a, a big mighty about 1.5 million channel came back, you know, she was so happy. And then um, she started focusing back on that particular place. But after some time, the drama gave them views. When I mean mad views, yeah, she made money from the drama. But what gerald kept on doing was he kept on you know filming her whenever like she's in a vulnerable moment like when she's very very vulnerable when she's shouting when she's doing certain things that you think you know messi shouldn't be doing or you never thought messi can do okay and that's the time you film it you know they quarrel over the house and all that then all of a sudden they both disappeared and i was even wondering why is messi not posting and all that even gerald just disappeared after some time and now they are both back and the way they came back is to come and fight again and i'm wondering like what what's going on because i just saw like after some like a week ago i saw that she was talking about you know gerald coming to her life again and trying to cause trouble and i went to Gerald's channel and Gerald was there again posting old videos again new new ones and according to him he's just trying to let everybody know that there's a narcissist out there there's a troublesome woman out there like ah Gerald, you're the narcissist here. Yeah. Like, this woman I've let go, she's gone. Like, you know when somebody keep talking about you, keep talking about you, don't, you don't reply the person, you don't answer the person. Like, everybody else has seen the person as a fool, right? But in this case, Messi has gone, and this is the time you think he will come back again. Like, after she didn't answer him, he stopped posting. Now he's back again. And everybody's beginning to see Gerald like, you're a narcissist, yo. Like, what's going on with you? And Messi is saying that she does not really understand what's even going on. That the way he's, you know, behaving, like she's not expecting to come back for her. This is after like two years. She has moved on at a point she was even going closer to her baby daddy again. So we actually thought they were going to get married and all that, which we didn't see. You get the point. And now Messi is even talking about how maybe probably she will maybe sell, you know, sell off her house and all that. We're just talking about the house in general. And you know that house, hey. <laughs> If it's even myself, let her just sell it so that Gerald's high will not be there. Because as long as Gerald's foot was in that house, mm, before Messi bought it and then they are living together there, and you still see Messi living there, man, he will still be coming for Messi. Go no, like he's, he has not left the thing is still inside of him, he has not left Messi. 
his brain is still there. So for me, oh, it's good if Messi want to sell the house self. Let her just sell it and buy another one. Because I remember after that, there are huge, you know, breakup, that big banger breakup. Messi, you know, gifted herself with a very beautiful banging car. And she said, yeah, this is a baby girl life. You know, she's carrying, uh, taking up her life back and all that. And everybody supported her. And I don't know why Gerald is, you know, coming back with old videos. And it's even an old video that Messi was quarreling and fighting that he now reposted. And people were telling him that he should let go of this matter. Move on. Messi has moved. Okay? Move on. Gerald, I'm also telling you, move on. Don't be a narcissist, okay? I don't believe everything that they accused Gerald of doing that time. But I know that Gerald was pained and all that. He was doing certain things. But I don't believe that he was one that act the account and all that. Couples do fight, right? Uh -huh. And they break up. Fine. So they broke up. They should all move on. So, guys, that is for Messi and, you know, Gerald. Okay? Now, let's talk about our fantastic favor on the street. Now, fantastic favor... <laughs> has been on the streets you know for a while and she was blowing up yeah she made mad views especially sometimes with her cooking videos even with her vlogs like when i started watching her was when she started doing vlogs okay mommy vlogs i enjoyed her vlogs like when she recently gave birth to one of her children oh my god i enjoyed those vlogs right and then later she started doing weight loss and her weight loss was banging it was nice okay for people that were looking forward to losing weight and she went viral when i mean viral she gained subscribers and after some time um the subscribers you know maybe i, I will not say the subscribers don't want to watch i'll keep saying this in about fantastic favor that she's a good vlogger like she's trying her best okay even when she came back to vlogs but people are not seeing her content that's what i would say sometimes i normally search fantastic favor to watch her sometimes her videos don't get recommended and it happens sometimes it's like youtube glitch like youtube will just provoke you not recommend your channel it happens and sometimes that's why i i, I I see big YouTubers sometimes they blame it on other person that oh this is the reason why people are not watching me no sometimes it's youtube that is doing it your channel is not being recommended if you want to know if your channel was recommended and people were seeing your video if you post a video eh, go to your youtube studio if after a day that video got like 1k views eh let's say let's say 5k views for the big youtubers okay 5k views go to your impression at your youtube studio your impression is how many times that video was shown to people and they scroll and pass if your impression is very great if your impression was good let's say your impression was like 100k that means people were seeing your video and they were passing if your impression was like 50k or 30k that means people were seeing your video and they were passing but if you got 5k views and your impression is 10k 15k 20k my dear youtube did not really, really push it out because no matter how youtube push your video out okay some persons will see it and watch and some will not see it and watch you get the point so the percentage is what matters when the percentage is great that means people are seeing the video actually but they're not watching like now, there are some contents on the street that if I see it, I will just scroll past. I don't even want to watch. I, will just, I don't even want to see the face. I will just scroll and pass. You get. So, this is what happens to some content creators, but they don't know. They'll think maybe something happened to them or somebody hates them or the fans don't want to watch. You get the point. Now, let's talk about she apologizing. There is nothing wrong apologizing to your fans that, oh, you failed them. You're not putting out the content that they love and all that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. You should apologize. But I want to also let her know that it's not be your fault. You are not the one doing it. Because she, I, so me, or she has complained about views so many times. That's why I'm even, you know, saying this thing. I feel that it is not she. It is not her doing that is making people not to come back and watch her. And then sometimes she feels that maybe she has, um, she has um she has not you know met up to their standard maybe what they want that's why they're not watching it's not your doing no it's not your doing people that want to watch they will watch there are some persons they just don't want to watch again and there's nothing we can do you get the point now when i was talking about recommendations sometimes i will notice that some of my fans will reach out to me on 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 instagram like vicky we're not seeing your recommendation if we have to search you then we'll notice that you have posted for that week i would just know that youtube is having recommendation issues for my channel you get the point i have known youtube to a point i'm a small youtuber right yeah i just started youtube i've not been long on the on the street that much but i've been able to study youtube no youtube you know nitty gritties you get the point uh -huh. so sometimes when views don't come in i i go back to my back end and i will know the fault and i know that okay this one's youtube that is doing it you get the point and most of the times it's just the impression check your impression and see whether recommendation is the issue and also check where they say recommendation browse features you know other channels all those 
you know something pages when you check you will know where the problem is coming from you get a point so me i don't really get bothered when sometimes views drop sometimes views go up and i make the money and i enter house you know all those things you get the point so i know that she was saying that okay sometimes she will just post a vlog some person to come and meet her and say eh you are adding weight to are you not seeing yourself she said She's ready to let go now. Not before she was hiding herself. Oh God, she used to be trim out and now she's getting fat and all that. But she said, as long as her husband is okay with it. Because she said, her husband said he likes fleshy things. Yes, there are some men. <laughs> no matter you want to reduce, they will tell you, baby, don't reduce every year. <laughs> you know where I like. You get the point. Eh? So if your husband says he likes fleshy things, don't go and lose weight and remove all the fleshy things because of money. Oh. Because according to her, she actually made cool cash. When she was doing those dieting and those exercises and she was losing weight, she made cool cash. That according to her, she doesn't even want to say. But we know because the kind of massive view she was having at that time. You get the point. So now some people want exercise back. Some people want vlog. Me, I still like her vlogs. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> but if she put exercise, no means say we're not gonna still watch. We're gonna still watch. You get the point. So my people, that is that though. I just want to encourage Fantastic Favor that this thing that you know. She talks about views a lot. So this thing about your channel, eh, sometimes I wish that you even do more because she's over 200k subscribers. And when she posts, sometimes, you know, she gets less than 10k and she, she feels bad. And I understand. It happens to everybody. Even small YouTubers that have 1k subscribers, when they post, they want to have 1k views. It's normal. It happens to all of us. You get the point. But I just feel that you should appreciate where God has brought you. And you should also appreciate where God has kept you. I know you appreciate it. But... You see this um, thinking that maybe, you know, I said she wants to go back to the DC, but she's trying to ap apologize to them now that ah, she wants to leave herself like that. She wants to be free. So in case you see a big tummy, nobody should talk. Nobody should talk on the comment section. <laughs> and I started laughing because, you know, on the streets, uh -uh, madam, no matter how you're talking, say nobody should comment. They will still comment. They will still comment. That's just it. It happens to all of us. You get the point. Anyway, guys, I just said, let me bring this gist to you people. I just just bring the gist to you people. And as for Gerald, please stop being a narcissist. Anyway, guys, bye.